fifth topic is called distributive property, and we'll have whole number coefficients. Um, P.S. Please subscribe to my channel, and you can like any videos um, that are helpful to you. You're welcome to make comments on videos if you would like. So to use the distributive property, what we're doing is we're taking whatever is outside the parentheses, we're multiplying it by each of the terms inside the parentheses. So when we look at this, we want to see the 12 as a positive 12 and the x as a negative x. So we're going to do 3 times 12, which is 36, and then we're going to do 3 times negative x, which is negative 3x. So it's 36 minus 3x. We don't have any terms that are alike, so this is our final answer. And as mathematicians, we're going to want to put that negative 3x first and then a positive 36. <clears throat> okay, let's try another one. Now, if you don't put them in that order, you're not going to get it wrong. It just looks nicer for us. It's kind of like um, looking at a painting and there's just something not quite right if you write it out of order. That's just the convention. It's not absolutely necessary to, to put it in that order. Okay, so we're going to do 5 times 11, uh, 5 times W, 5W, and 5 times negative 11 is negative 55. So our answer is 5w minus 55. And again, this looks really good to us to have that w term first. OK, we'll do one more just to solidify the concept. So I like, actually, that this third problem it looks a little different. We still have that 6 on the outside of parentheses. If you would like to, you can rewrite it with the 6 on in the front of the parentheses. It doesn't really matter. You're just going to do 6 times v and 6 times positive 10. So 6 times v is, and if you do it this way, you're just going to go like that. 6 times v is 6v, and then you do 6 times positive 10, which is positive 60. And it's the same if you were to, to change the order. You're going to get the same answer. Um, but if it kind of confusing to have that on the, the right side of the parentheses, it's okay if you move it. Because it's multiplication, we have that commutative property of multiplication, which says that you can multiply in any order. So we're going to move the six and put it in front, and it, it's the same problem. Okay, that's the end of the lesson.